What's good people, welcome back to the video. So that's into Gucci Mane in the weekend curve. This is another sort of weekend feature that a few of you guys have told me to check out. I don't think I've ever checked out Gucci Mane on this channel yet. It's not that I don't really listen to, to be honest, I don't really listen to Gucci Mane, but I, I appreciate the majority of the stuff he's brought out, at least recently. Just puts out albums like no one else, it's insane. It's just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I haven't really checked out too much from him. Didn't really know this track existed, but like I said, I've seen it pop up in the comments a few times over the last couple of months, I'd probably say. I think this came out two years ago, something like that. Uh, I'm intrigued to know, you know, I'm intrigued to hear the weekend on Gucci sort of sound. As you know, it's very trap beat heavy. So, you know, pretty much every time I've heard the weekend on a beat like that, it's always been really dope. So I'm looking forward to this. And again, we haven't really checked out any Gucci Mane either. So something a bit fresh, man. Before we jump into it, guys, if you are new around here, please drop a sub. We're on the road to 3K and we're trying to hit that as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, description below. And of course, with a like and a comment in the video as well. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's jump into this, man. Gucci Mane, the weekend, curve. Let's go. XO. Yeah. One oh, uh, one seven, yeah. Burr. Burr. Go. The kid back on the whiskey, Virginia black on me tipsy. I'm in LA like I'm Nipsey. Spanish girls wanna kiss me. Mm, Charles and Nipsey, man. Come and diss me. I put a hex like a gypsy. They kill themselves, no risk, please. Got suicides on my SP. Should do it all for the Fendi. Should do it all for the Gucci. Baby girl wanna choose me. She wanna use and abuse me. I know she wanna tax me. Bro, already man, I'm loving the beat, it's so hard, but hearing Abel over something like this, oh god bro, it always just sounds so good. I love The Weeknd's choice, like his music, I love his choice of beat, but hearing him jump on the likes of a Gucci Mane track, it's just, it just sounds sick, it sounds absolutely sick, I'm loving his vocals as well man. Always just makes you feel some kind of fucking way whenever you hear his vocals over anything. I'm just loving how smooth they're running over this. I'm loving some of the lyrics as well, man. It's a bit different putting a hex on you like a gypsy. Rated that one. <laughs> back at the top now. I'll be right back at the top now. I got your girl on my finger. Blow my phone like she's single. Blow my phone like I'm CeeLo. Somebody need to go. Blow my phone like I'm CeeLo. With the curve. With the curve. I know you don't deserve it. No, you don't deserve it. I know you don't deserve it, no you don't deserve it I, I got that word, with the, with the, with the, I need to know what's certain Tell me are you worth it I, I was born last night, where you showed out on that dick girl You performed last night, that's why You deserve that first class flight but Something about his cadence and the way he delivers on the track is just Somebody tell the prince that the keeping has arrived hey. If I looked over here, I'd probably have 100 wives like I said, there's something about Gucci on a track. It's not even necessarily that he's the maddest lyricist or anything of that sort, but his cadence and the way he just so easily rides over beats, it's just so effortless in my opinion. There's just something about it, just his voice and everything. It just seems so effortless over any sort of beat and it's just very entertaining to listen to. It always sounds really dope, but uh, yeah, man, it's just ridiculous. I'm in Dubai, if I was living there, I'd have a hundred wives. It's just classic Gucci lyrics, isn't it? I ordered up a dub and then I threw it in the sky. I told her all my eye. Now Jesus. she looked like she surprised. She looked like a model, but a devil in disguise. Bum 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 bum, I feel like Rocky in his prime. You know you can't no fuck, so why the fuck we wasting time? I got that kind of wood that make a woman lose her mind. I'm young, rich and handsome, baby, you're one of a kind. Just keep it real with me, baby, it won't cost you a dime. I know you got expensive taste, and I don't. Love that they always come back to this vocals. I know you want the Birkin, baby, are you worth it? They want the Birkin. With the curve, I know you don't deserve it. No, you don't deserve it. I got that word. I need to know for certain. Tell me, are you worth it? Okay guys, that was Gucci Mane Curve featuring The Weeknd. Uh, really nice track, man. Really, really dope. Sort of what I was expecting. I'm not going to say it was the craziest Weeknd feature because it just wasn't. I feel like if you listen to The Weeknd, 
you must surely agree. Uh, I didn't like the fact that it was two minutes and 40 seconds. I feel like it could have been a bit longer, but I don't know whether, no, I just like a lengthy track with The weekend. I feel like there was a bit more potential in that, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. I thought the production was fantastic. The weekend's vocals as well. I was loving the little one-liners that you had in there. I was picking up on quite a few of the lyrics from both of them. And uh, yeah, it sounded really dope. The, um, the contrast and the sort of collaboration of the two, I thought worked really well. I don't know if there's any other Gucci and The Weeknd collabs. If there is, anyone let me know in the comments below. But I thought overall, really solid. It did, like I said, it did feel like, just felt like something that could have been more done to it, honestly. But I think overall, I would definitely listen to it again. It's definitely a little vibe. Um, like I said, Gucci's cadence, man. Just the way he rode over that beat. I'd love to know who produced it as well. Uh, just, you know, just a nice, normal sort of track to be honest with you i'm not going to say it was too insane but uh probably definitely wasn't one of my favorite weekend features but still really fuck with it man just say it wasn't too memorable but i still really did enjoy it I, I would probably listen to it again uh just yeah really smooth normal sort of fucking vocals man you just I ran out of things to say about the man, to be honest with you, but I just love the vocals at the beginning. It's usually the case with him on a feature, the vocals at the beginning, and the other artist whose song it actually is, has like quite a short window and then just goes back to the weekend. And I just feel like, that's what I always mention, he sort of, his features end up stealing songs completely. I find that with Crew Love and, um, and some other tracks as well. I think there's a track with Travis too. Or I just feel like the weekend sort of ends up owning every song he jumps on, uh, weirdly. I think that's why a lot of people don't like anyone else featuring on his tracks as well. I've read quite a few people saying they just, a lot of people would rather the original of the one of the weekend songs than a remix. I just feel like he just bodies everyone else on it. But yeah, overall, positive listen, man. It was good. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, drop a like. If you enjoyed my action, if you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. If you have any questions for any weekend or Gucci main, let me know in the comments below. But for the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie, and I'll see you in the next one.